Hello everybody, I'm Markiplier. No, I'm joking. I'm not Markiplier. I'm the gaming beaver! So, hello and welcome. Hi, to another episode of Diamond Deadly Shores. I almost forgot what we're doing. That's what this company's called, Free Gold. So, I'm guessing this is the penultimate episode of Diamond and Deadly Shores. I thought I know of. Um, I probably won't call it in the thumbnail final. I'll just call it episode 38. But as far as I'm aware, it probably is one of the last episodes. Um, because we do have, you know, some shotgun series to do, some bow. Um, but the, at the end of all those, there is nothing. Uh, you basically did those just so you had enough bucks uh, to buy the uh, weapons or upgrades to do the trophy hunts, to unlock the map pieces, to unlock the next map. Um, there are some things that I haven't done, like the exotic series, that is no different from anything else. It is just like a bow series, but with just that gun, and you get gold every three, uh, you get three gold every turn, every round you do. Uh, the things that we are doing today, however, is the, uh, this is called the Crystallis series. Uh, these are events. Now, basically what happens in these, like you've already, you probably know because you've already watched all of these. Um, it's, well, all the dinosaurs in this area, you fight again with this weapon, but at the very end, you get a prize, and there is a creature that you will never see again, just like the trophy hunts. So that is exactly what we're going to do. We're going to buy this for- Go! Oh God, look at the money go! No! Jesus! What? That is a lot of money. Okay, we're going to equip it. We're going to equip it and go. I don't even know what this does. I completely forgot it. Actually, let's have a, have a look about it. We have a, uh, a warning sign, like electricity. There seems to be a lot of electricity. A, this looks like the thing behind it. That looks like what we load in. That looks like the power supply. We have a little uh, targeter on top. Some cool up and down barsy logo things that I have no idea what to do. I'm guessing it's going to maybe be like an electric rod like zzzz while we hold it. We hold it, I think. That or it might just fire out electrical burst. It's going to be one of the two. So, let's do it. Part two, because you always get one go for free. And against these little Udemorphodons. Ude, Ude, Ude. Oh my god, wow, okay. He, he turned tail and ran. His friend was like, oh no, they are both turning. <gasps> oh, look at it. They both turned around to come for me. Oh, that's so sweet of you. Die. Oh my god, okay. Oh god, it takes two. Oh. Oh, oh yeah! <laughs> Beautiful! Stick it in that! Ah. Does it do chain reaction? Oh, it does! It does do a chain reaction! Awesome! Hey, hey, hey! Cheeky! Cheeky! Okay, we have one shot. We have one shot before we reload. Make sure we don't waste it. Are we good? No one's coming for me. You are! Both of you are! We're running out of time! Oh! Look at that! That was amazing! Got both of them! Right. Let's do it. Let's buy it back and keep on going. Kill five elder Kuritosaurus. You know, they've lived a long life. It's time to end it. Because this game's so happy, Cheery. <laughs> I saw somebody comment, actually. They were they were saying, um, like, a year ago when Gaming Beaver first played this game, he was all against um, dinosaur cruelty. One year later, Kill them all! Hurt <laughs> your bush! Oh, I hit something else as well. Hopefully me. Or this person. So, I think we've got enough to buy the other one as well, gold-wise. Because it's on offer, the other event series. I just want to get through this. Look at that, we're next to Christ the Redeemer. Beautiful. Look at the, this game looks beautiful. I can't stress enough. Just It is such... A, a magnificent looking game. It's so appealing to the eye. Yet, the game itself, the concept is terrible. <laughs> I can't say no to that. It is a terrible, terrible concept. <gasps> Dynamicus! And I've come back to this series and I can say it properly. Do you think we can kill all three of them in one shot? Oh, one survived. Oh, two of them did. Oh, they're both dead now. There's just two left. Do you think they can be killed together? Ah, oh, yeah. He's like just recovering after his other one. His first hit and then, oh, floppity backwards. 
Bye bye. Yeah, we're gonna get free energy as well. That's awesome. I haven't leveled up. I think in the past couple of episodes I've played this. Oh, well, I missed that one. How about we get these two? Oh, just one more. Where do you think you're going? Oh, is that not it? Do I not, did I not get a, a slow motion for that because I didn't zoom in? Is that how it works? <gasps> Agilosauruses. Do you think they're quite agile? Oh, 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 oh. oh, God. Killed five of them in one hit. Beautiful. How many can we kill in one shot, actually? Hold on. Well, that was another four. Let's wait for them to spawn. Get them really close. Burnish! How many did we kill? Oh, my God. That's beautiful. <laughs> I mean, it's, don't get me wrong. It's horrible. But, uh, oh, sorry. We get, we're get level 49. And we get one gold. Oh, thank you, game. Oh. That's exactly what I wanted. Yay. One goal that makes all the blubber difference. Jesus. Oh, I'm safe. I'm safe in me. Who's? It's beautiful, Leek. Die. Oh, I don't like it when they tremble. Don't make me feel guilty, game. Please. Ready? Oh, look at that. That guy's actually sleeping. I don't think he died. He's just napping. <laughs> night, night, everybody. So will we get to level 50 before this? I do everything in this game. Our survey says, eh, eh, no. But oh, oh, sorry, I gotta be early. Yeah, there we go. Oh, there's a few that have already swung towards me here out of sheer anger, I'm sure. So we have to kill 12. The final mission will be killed. 2,000 of these in one minute. We're a little bit away from Christ the Redeemer now. No! No! Oh, I, I'm gonna wait till your buddy gets here too and I can kill both of you at the same time. There you go. Lovely jubbly. And you. I saw you. Floating defying the laws of physics. So, how you doing guys? You doing good? Um, you know what I'm doing, right? A whole year and a bit has passed since I launched this channel. And... I am recording this exactly the same way I did a year and a half ago, almost. Um... Because that, that sounds so weird for me to say. That a year and a half ago... Not even that. Are you guys running away? You were! Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Come on, reload it, reload it, reload it. Yes! Beautiful! <laughs> yeah, two running away! But yeah, a year and a half ago, this didn't exist. I had zero subscribers. And now I have 300 and God knows what, thousand subscribers. But when I record this game, it's it puts me back in when I had, you know, a thousand or two thousand. Because I'm recording this exactly the same way I did. With a cushion behind my microphone. Sat at this weird desk table that... Patients would have in a hospital. <laughs> you know those bed tables? Yeah, it's one of those. So it's quite long and it's movable. It's portable. Very handy. Oh, I missed him. Damn. There's something quite humbling about it. That I feel like even though I've came this far, I'm still recording like this. Eh, nothing changes. And Montanias! These guys are adorable. I'm never usually a fan of Ankylosaurus' family. Don't ask me. They uh, didn't give me. They didn't show up to my birthday party last year, and ever since then I've been sort of not on speaking terms with them. But anyway, yeah, these guys look cute. I I don't know. Like I had a friend whose favorite dinosaur was Ankylosaur, and he knew a lot about dinosaurs. He was sort of my competition, so therefore I didn't like that dinosaur. <laughs> Probably the only reason why, actually, I, I don't really like Ankylosaur. And even though I'm my age now, knowing this, that that was the reason why I, I don't like it, I still don't like it, even though I know that. Um, it's dead weird. Dead weird. Uh, I, I don't sort of regard myself as, oh, I know everything about dinosaurs, because I'm the dinosaur pro. 
Um, I've never done that. But I always I always felt like I knew more than like n like general people would know, knowledge-wise. Um, but I remember going to the pub one time and walking back with this this guy. And he was... He, he liked dinosaurs, and I started talking about them. And I was like, oh, so uh, what's your favorite dinosaur? And he gave this... This really obscure dinosaur. You know, don't get me wrong. People who know lots about dinosaurs, I bet they do have their, their favorite, which is a bit obscure. But he gave me its Latin name, its genus type, and all that jazz. And I was just like, oh, this guy's pretentious. <laughs> it's like, oh, my favorite dinosaur is this, this, and this, and this. What's yours? Um... Parasaurolophus. It's just like, do you have to be like that really? Almost like, oh, I know everything about dinosaurs. My, oh, your favorite is Parasaurolophus. Oh, God, you might as well like garbage. <laughs> Not that he talked like that, but, you know, that just up themselves sort of uh, about them. Because, and I do feel like a lot of people um, that know a lot about dinosaurs are like that, you know, they're very up. You know, oh, you, you you don't know anything about dinosaurs. All you know is Triceratops? God. Everybody knows Triceratops. Do you know its Latin name? Oh, you don't even deserve to talk about dinosaurs. Oh, I hate people like that. I absolutely do. And people that think they can go in front of everybody and, oh, I know everything. Um, Because, oh, get off your high horse. God damn it. Like, people might think, oh, Game Beaver thinks he knows everything about dinosaurs. I have never once said that. I've never once been like, oh, guys, don't worry. I'm going to tell you everything I know about dinosaurs because, dude... I know everything there is to know about dinosaurs. I've never been like that. Um, oh god, you are running away! You cheeky sods, come back here. Face the, like, face the music. <laughs> There's always two of them which run away. Can we get the shot? Ah, I got it. I got the shot. Just over the fence. Oh, he went through the fence. Ah, well, he probably killed himself, actually. Probably impaled himself on a spear. Oh, we have to upgrade it? Oh, wow, I didn't think I even upgraded it once. That's quite impressive. We got all the way up to 16. Oh, get a minute! Who's my cutie? Who's my second favorite dinosaur? Yes, and it is because of Jurassic Park. God damn it. <laughs> Parasaurolophus is my favorite dinosaur because of Jurassic Park Operation Genesis. I loved making a whole huge big herd of them. I'm just watching them go. Uh, the same with um, Gallimimus. I loved making, you know, when you when you can mod it, you know, you go into the code, the constant dot ini file, and you just go flock size, two million thousand. Oh, how many did I kill? How many? Did I get them all? Well, I know I got one. But he's like, ah, God! That guy was like, oh, it's a static electric shock, but the other guy was like, oh, dead! Oh, Pendaceratops. I never liked this model. Nah, don't like it. It's too angular. Oh my god, there's loads of them. Ooh, is that a battle axe? It is. Wow. It's a bit like Power World when you get the Vikings. Oh, and yes, I've referenced Power World. And yes, Best and Thoughts played it. But, like, you know what it is about Power World? I'm all into real time strategy games, RTSs. I love them. Absolutely love them. Loved Age of Empires, Age of Empires 2, Age of Empires 3, Age of Mythology. Um, Power World was one of them that I loved. I absolutely loved Power World. Um, but not many people play it. Not many people play it at all. Um, so actually what I'm going to do is change the capacity because... Oh yeah, 3 would be much, much more helpful. I'm just going to get them all because I have way too many millions of bucks to go around. But yeah, um, what, what about Power World is... I loved facing the PCs on it because it was it. I mean, real-time strategy games are my are my jam, basically. I wouldn't make a let's play of it because you guys might find it boring. Don't get me wrong, and I might do it one day if you guys are interested because I love it. I love talking tactics and uh, especially when you do a eight v like a four v four team. And you're like, God damn, what that guy's doing? Stop getting those units! <laughs> well, protect me, damn it! Um, I loved Halo Wars, but Power World, right? You put Power World on the hardest setting, expert. Oh my god! I, how many? One, two, three, four, five. Oh god, I killed five. I'm sorry. But if you put Power World on expert settings, the game cheats. Not even joking. It will, all of a sudden, if you watch the PCs in a post-game, like saved game recorded, watch them. They cheat. 
They get, they build buildings when they don't have the resources. They get heroes instantly when, again, they don't have the resources. Um, because I was fighting them on expert because hard was too easy. Um, they, I, all of a sudden, they just started, they came out of nowhere and killed me. And I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. A part of me was like, oh, that was really hard. I don't know how they did that. But the other part of me was excited to watch the recorded game to see how they did it. And when I came to watch the recorded game, I was highly disappointed when I realized that they just goddamn straight up cheated. Um, but I play Age of Mythology online. I like I like playing people online. Because the PCs are too easy on expert. Like, if it's 1v1, too easy um, for expert. So playing with people online. And the only people that play Age of Mythology online are experts. So uh, if I do if I do lose. Um, I usually just watch the recorded game and be like, oh, so that's what they did, okay. Which is a bit of a shame, because there's nobody on my sort of level, so I will get my ass whooped most of the time. But, but I don't mind it. I enjoy playing it, and then learning st strategies and, uh, you know, how to play. Ah, oh, yeah. Fear the lightning bolts of Zeus. So we are on 21. We're getting there. Eight Elder Gallimimus. It's worse when they say eight youthful or eight young. Look at them go. Just like a flock, flock of birds evading a predator. Er, <laughs> they're flocking this way. <laughs> oh God. Timmy! Timmy! Rebra, Timmy! <laughs> More thousands of books which I will never use. Except for upgrading this gun and the next one that I'm going to get. Pentaceratops, more like Pentelectroceratops. Let's get it, because he's dead. Okay. Oh, I completely missed those. Do they attack or run? They run. They are pegging it up the butty. You know, he must die like, oh, that's nice. Oh, wait, I'm, oh, never mind, I'm dead. <laughs> oh. Edemama beans. Edemama dance. They're like, Ed oh, wow, look at that. Oh, that is cool. That is cool. I don't think I've ever been here at night. And looked up at that. Wow. That is, like, this game just looks amazing. I'm, I can't stress it enough. It just feels to me like so much potential was squandered. Oh, do, do Deer Hunter 2015. Yeah. Well, you've lost me. That's for sure. Eight elder iguanodons. You know that's okay. Maybe maybe they want to die. Maybe they're bored of living. Um, or maybe I'm I'm you know giving them life, new life. Who knows what happens when you die? You might go to heaven. You might start a new life and you become young again. Nobody knows. That's the that's that's really the the catch. Nobody knows what happens after that. And quite frankly. You shouldn't worry about it. Enjoy life the way it is. Don't worry, life's too short, basically. That's the way I want to live my life. Life's too short, YOLO. As much as, as cool as that saying is, um, it's true. Like, that's how I found out about YOLO, actually. Was I said to, um, it was one of the first things I said to Whitney uh, when I met her. I said, you know, life's too short. Just do what you want. And she was like, she laughed and was like, are you, are you saying YOLO? And I was like, what, what? What's a YOLO? I like Rolos. <laughs> they're, they're an English sweet if you don't have them in America. Or wherever you are. Rolos are a little toffee sweet. Uh, but then I found out that YOLO is a thing all the cool kids say. Especially Jacksepticeye. He says, YOLO BITCHES! <laughs> oh, I, I, you know what it is? I don't understand Let's Plays that say that, oh, I don't watch other Let's Players. I, I think that's, you know, it's, for one, it's not nice. It's almost like, oh, I don't watch Let's Play. So, it, it's almost like saying to their fans, like, why are you watching me? Like, that's how I feel. I, I watch all, I watch Markiplier, PewDiePie, Game Grumps, uh, Jacksepticeye, any, any one I came, came, came across, I uh, came across that I enjoy. Um, that whole thing with, uh, um, what's it called? Jimmy Kimmel, that's right. All that thing with Jimmy Kimmel. He got on. He got Markiplier and Miss Mrs. May. Is she, is she Mrs. May or Missy May? Well, she's something like that. And uh, I started watching her content, and I quite liked it. I quite like um, who she is and her sort of opinions and stuff. So I started watching her. Um, so yeah, 
Don't be too up yourself. <laughs> That's how it comes. Be humble. Enjoy life. YOLO it if you feel like it. Don't waste your life worrying. Because you probably only get one go around. And you don't want to spend it worrying. Or doing things that you'll later regret. Not do- Oh, Triceratops! <gasps> My god, are we- Is that what our last one's gonna be? Oh, I killed all of them? Jesus, that was quick. Alright then, on to Corythosaurus. Oh no, I ran out of- Okay, let's go. Let's go. Now- Okay, I praise this game a lot. I love the models. They look magnificent. They, uh, the mapping on them, the detail looks great. Um, but Corythosaurus? I gotta say, it's ugly. I, I, maybe it's scientifically accurate. Maybe that's exactly what its fossil like records point towards it looking like. But I just think it's, it's it feels like a very dated model to me. Um, I, I don't... I don't, I don't specifically like it. It's, it looks very ugly to me. That's my personal opinion. You guys might be watching thinking, I think it looks beautiful. 10 out of 10. We'll definitely play it again. Best dinosaur ever. Um, but me personally, nah, I'm okay. I would leave it. Which is strange because Parasolophus is my favorite uh, dinosaur. And yet they are very similar. But that head. Oh, I just don't like that head. Call me racist about dinosaurs. I don't know. I just don't like it. <laughs> oh, of course we end with Edmorphodon. Edimarmadons. Edimarma beans. <laughs> oh, yep. Got seven. Let's make it a record. How many can we get in one shot? That was three. Oh, they were just... Oh, man. There was a big clump of them all together there. Oh, here's one. Here's one. Oh, we shot past it. Come on. Oh, they're all too spread out. Damn it. Oh, ho, ho. hello, yo. Is it? No, no one. Oh, there is. Come on, let's do a close up for the final. Come on. Get your picture taken. Smile. And falls through the floor. Perfect. So, what's the final going to be? Please be something awesome. <gasps> Kill Crystalis. Oh, right. So. The event is called after the creature you finally fight. Awesome. Right, okay. If I could have anything, please be a some sort of weird looking Gallimimus or a Triceratops. I think we've already had a Triceratops crystal. I think we have. So what we're going to have... <gasps> it is... Oh! Oh, that looks awesome! That's badass! That looks cool! Can we not have more of that? Please! Please more of this! Holy crap. It's got glowing toesies. Look at it. It's got glowing toesies. It's beautiful. And now I have to kill it. I don't even know what that model is. What is that model? Is that, that Cineraptor? I think it is. I think Cineraptor is the big carnivore on this uh, region. Oh, dude. Do I have to kill it? Oh, man. I want to keep these. There's only like one of them. And I know that three shots is going to kill it instantly. Oh, look at that. This, <gasps> this is good. I like this. Look, there's three raptors just running towards me. As There's six raptors. Sorry, five. There's five raptors. And he's like leading the charge. This is good. If there was more raptors just charging and charging, coming towards. Oh, he spotted me. Oh, I got to reload. Got to reload. And more raptors are coming. Can I just see what it looks like for me to die, please? I just want to see that. Does he throw me up in the air? Does he eat me? And how much damage does he take? I'm curious. But first, just eat me. Oh, he's come around the long way. Here he comes. Oh, beautiful. And glitched out the screen. Beautiful. <laughs> now that was awesome. Now, you know, I, you know, you spend money, real money, on this. To unlock this weapon, unless you were lucky enough to save up your gold for this single event, which in which case I will say, kudos, you did good. But can not just every creature, just every le every other level or every three levels, just be this instead of just the final one, or you know ones that are slightly electric or slightly crystally? That would be really cool. Okay, now how many shots does it take? One, two, three. Oh wow, he's actually really strong. Okay, one, two, three. Again, 
it, it, it stumbles, so really, it's it's not that hard to take out. So, on one shot in the heart. Shot through the heart! BOOM! And you're too late, baby! Your crystals are destroyed. Onto the spikes! Onto the spikes! Oh, yes! That was beautiful! Impale! What a way to end the episode. So, guys, that was awesome. I'm so glad they actually did that now. If you enjoyed this episode, leave a like. Thank you again for all the support. Without you, I wouldn't be here. So, I've got to say a big and humble thank you to everybody that has... You know, the people who have stuck through the episode this far. If you skipped, that's completely fine. I mean, you saw the thumbnail. That thing looked amazing. But for the people that went through this whole episode, just listened, enjoyed, maybe ate some cereal. I do that. I get up in the morning, have breakfast, watch YouTube videos. That's just what I do. So if you just if you've been here, that is so amazing that you decided, you know, time is precious in life. And that you decide to spend it with me playing this game. Like that means more than any words that fall out of my mouth could express to you that you did that. And we had an awesome time, didn't we? Didn't we? Of course we did. And you'll remember that awesome looking dinosaurs for probably a day. Probably, I mean, you'll remember. It looked awesome anyway. So until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.